Welcome to this video on conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. So just like all the rest of the videos I've done on Excel, we're going to keep it nice and simple and easy so you can start getting used to conditional formatting. And I've got a table. If you've watched any of the other videos in this channel, you'll recognize some of the data on there. So it's really nice and familiar. Now, when I click on my Excel, you'll see on the ribbon at the top where all of the options are, just to the right of the middle, you've got the conditional formatting option. Now, before you click on that, you must select the data you want to format. So I'm going to look at the order amount column. So I'm going to select that data and then I'm going to click just above that where it says conditional formatting. And you can see here you've got loads of options to use different rules that are already preset. And down the bottom, you can manage your rules. So if you've got any conditional formatting already set on that data on those cells, then you can edit that or remove it if you need to. What I'm going to do in this video is keep it simple and use the highlight cells rule option. And you can see when I hover over that one, I've got some options to play around with. So greater than, less than, between, equals to, and so on and so on. You can do dates as well or you can highlight duplicate values if that would be quite useful for you. I've no, I've used that quite a few times when I'm trying to view duplicate data across multiple documents. So I'm just going to say if it's greater than, and when you select an option, you'll then need to tell Excel what to do with that cell, what you want it to be greater than, and what you want it to do with it. So I'm only formatting cells that contain a cell value greater than, and then I'm going to put in 99 because I want anything that's a hundred or above. And then I need to tell this tell Excel what to do with that cell if it's over 99. So it does give you some preset examples and you can see there, this one's got a light red fill with a dark red text and you've got a preview of what that looks like. If you prefer something different, you can choose one of the other preset options or you can customize the format to be whatever works best for you. But I'm gonna leave that as it is and click on okay. And you can see immediately there, when I've done that, it's given me all of the cells that are over 99, so 100 and above, and it's formatted them for me. If I went in and I move this one to 110, because it's currently not formatted, it's still got the white background. If I put in 110 and press enter, you'll see it immediately changes that over. So it's a really nice, quick way of just, especially if your data is going to be moving around, just highlighting those cells that either might you might need to pay attention to because they're a high number or maybe you're looking at your kpis and your percentages drops you might want to highlight those cells when you pull data into your excel spreadsheet so something to really start to play around with just a super simple example there have a look at conditional formatting and i will do some more videos with some more complex examples Please do like and subscribe, check out the rest of the videos in this channel and do let me know if you've got any other specific videos you would like me to record.